put a smile on your face. When you're moving from place to place. To place. Good morning, viewers, and welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Coming to you here live from the Fort Mall in Scarborough, Tobago. Yes, viewers, we're in our final segment this morning. And we have the opportunity to be talking music amateur. We're talking Mother's Day celebrations uh, coming up on this weekend. And therefore, we're happy to welcome on set. You may be familiar with the Warners when you hear uh, music amateurs. But no, it's not the Warner parents. This is the daughter bringing to coming to us here today, Karen. Water conductor accompanies and music a music amateur and a killer Morton choir master. Good morning and welcome to you. Good, Hi, good morning. morning. Thank you for having us. So you see when I when I am, um, you know, as Ria would probably say, I grew up in a time of knowing music amateurs um, with a particular grouping. So it's nice to see in terms of that combination and seeing that the, the, the transition is taking place in the mix. So you have that beautiful combination. So we get started immediately. Uh, music amateurs has an extensive kind of repertoire over the years. People look forward <laughs> to anything happening in this space. Let's start off by giving us a little insight about how, what's been happening with music amateurs coming out of uh, the pandemic. Okay, um, since the coming out of the pandemic, we would have had our annual Christmas concert resumed last December. So that would have been our first um, item that we would have actually displayed. And now we're back with our Mother's Day concert, which is also an annual staple within our um, calendar. We usually have two types of concerts, the Mother's Day concerts and the Christmas concerts. All right, so give us some details. When is the Mother's Day concert carded for? Um, in terms of persons who may want to be able to access. When is it happening? Where is it taking place this year? So it's happening on this Sunday, 14th May, at 6 p.m., promptly at 6 p.m. Our shows are always on time. And at, it's at the Lowlands Mall, Lowlands, Tobago. All right. And I see we also have on the lineup um, some guest artists in the mix. Yes, we do. So we have a number of guest artists. We have Devon Stewart on the steel pan. We have Mr. Malcolm Boyce. He's a saxophonist from Trinidad. We have Callan Jamoy Alexander. And we also have three smaller junior ensembles, one from the St. <coughs> What's the school called? Lambo, Lambo Anglican, Anglican Primary, Primary School. School, sorry. Lambo Anglican Primary School. Um, a music amateurs junior choir and the Belvoir Ensemble. All right. So we see the ticket prices are at uh, $200. Uh, where can persons uh, access tickets? You can contact 639-5268, Miss Jennifer Duvetile, and we will assist from there. All right. Do members also have access to tickets? Because yes. I know the likes of and good morning and shout outs to Auntie Anne. Mm -hmm. they, they make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that level of commitment and dedication because it's almost as though across your membership, you know your clientele in addition to looking out for new. How important is maintaining that while encouraging others to come to have the experience of music amateurs? Well, we have our old faithful audience that they're very consistent and very loyal to us and we're very grateful for them. But um, over the years, we've been trying to increase the number of younger persons attending our concerts and also younger members joining our choir. So currently our youngest member singing in the choir is 28. <clears throat> um, and the oldest member is of course in the 80s, actually is 82. Mm -hmm. um, so we are working towards developing the relationship with a younger audience and also that's why we bring in the, the junior ensembles as well so that they get used to this type of music and they are more open to coming to a concert such as this. Tell us how, how, about how, how important is that kind of blend in terms of ensuring that this kind of music lives on? Uh, because it's no secret, our generation, we in touch with the reggae, we in touch with the soca music, calypso, etc. How important it is that, and you know, the role that music amateur really plays in ensuring that we have that uh, kind of continuing beyond. Well, I'd say that Music Amateurs is one of those groups that has fostered the development of a lot of young people in Tobago. Um, Several of them have actually gone on to become professional musicians, like myself and um, Mr. Karen Hislop, who is actually Mr. Hislop, one of our foundation members, his son, who is the program director for the USC music department in Trinidad. Um, and so we continue to do that work. Uh, my parents especially have been <coughs> reaching out to schools since they've both retired. They've been teaching this type of music in several primary schools, and that's where the junior choir has come out from. Some of the children would have been part of the Lambo Anglican School, and then there are a few others who would have joined in along the way. Um, so it's very important to us to ensure that 
there's succession planning, and that other people get involved in different types of music, not just what we're used to, the folk and so forth in Tobago. All oh, right. Akil, what would you say would have attracted you um, in terms of getting involved in a, in a choir in this kind of official way? The, I would say the style of music, the genre, the exposure as well. I would have started from age eight, and I have been a part of it ever since. Um, the development as well that the choir would have allowed in doing voice training, um, learning music, the different genres, the different style, stage performance, and yeah, it's, it's been wonderful for me as a person developing and also connecting with persons as well. All right. And I want to touch on you a little bit, Carol. You know, I'm particularly impressed um, in terms of instrumental. And, you know, we know you are in, in that sphere. Yeah. When you would have started off um, being involved in the choir, I suppose you always had that natural music somewhere, some, somewhere in, in, in the vein. Would you have seen yourself where you are today, um, being able to go out there even on your own and doing instrumentals and wowing audiences far and wide? Um, I'd say that... When I started in music amateurs, I, I was born into the choir. I didn't really have a choice, obviously, <laughs> right? Thank um, you to the parents. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Kind of <laughs> so um, initially, it was just, it was a part of my life. It was just what we did. My entire family has been in music amateurs since I've known myself. And so I sort of took it for granted, the development that I actually was benefiting from by being there. <clears throat> The moment I went off to study and I realized that the skills that I had developed while being a part of the group were just probably more advanced than a lot of other people is when I realized just how much the choir actually influenced my musical career and my confidence and giving me the opportunity to stand before them and conduct them even now after being one of their choir babies for so many years, you know, now they're like, okay, we'll listen to Carol Shaw, <laughs> you know, so um, it has really helped me to blossom as a musician and I do not take it for granted at all. Excellent. And you see those words, uh, the message there is certainly inspirational and a gentle reminder. Sometimes we take for granted, you know, when our parents insist and we are not wrong certain things. Yeah. And then we lift the seat in time and say, oh, by the way, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you most definitely. Um, before we wrap this morning, the, the uh, Mother's Day concert that's carded to take place, why is it a must attend, ladies? Hmm. It's going to be very exciting. Music Amateurs always gives a varied program. So you're not only going to hear classical music, you're going to hear some folk, you will hear some pop, some Broadway music, some Disney music. Um, and then, of course, we have a wonderful lineup of guest performers. And we also have a dancer or two somewhere on the program. So it's going to be a really sneak exciting peek, time. Peek. Yes, very yeah. exciting time. And we look forward to seeing everyone coming out on Certainly. Sunday. Certainly. Remind our viewers of the details so that they can know uh, when it's happening, where it's happening, where they can also access tickets. Sure. So we welcome everyone to attend to our Mother's Day concert this Sunday, 14th May, at 6 p.m. at the Lowlands Mall, Lowlands, Tobago. All right. Quick reminder of the social media handles as well and where tickets can be accessed. It's uh, musicamateurstobago at gmail.com, Music Amateurs on Facebook. All right, excellent. And the reminder the number with tickets, contact information? 639-5268. All right, excellent. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here on set as we speak. Music Amateur Choir Mother's Day concert that's upcoming. Ensure that you get your ticket. Get your ticket and go out uh, and support. Um, we've certainly been promised a musical treat, as is the custom, but always some extra coming there in the mix. And we invite and really want to encourage persons to head on out and support. Thank you so much, Carol Warner, conductor, and Akila Morton, choir master, for joining us here on set this morning. Sends a good signal our music is in good hands. All right. Our viewers, we want to thank you so much for continuing to choose the Tobago Updates a morning show. Those of you connecting with us via TV, those of you interacting with us um, via the radio, and those of you joining us online, we want to say thank you so much for continuing to choose the Tobago Updates morning show. From here, we're heading uh, straight on over to Tobago Notes and then on to GMT. And we'll see you tomorrow morning again. But remember to stay tuned and to stay connected. And this is your reminder. And I invite the ladies to join me in your reminder to share the live, share the live, share the live. Right.